Hi, for this video what I want to do is talk about the Pythagorean trig identities and show you where they originate. So the first thing is, since it's Pythagorean trig identities, that means that it relates to the Pythagorean theorem. So if you remember from geometry or from other courses, the Pythagorean, Pythagorean theorem says that a squared plus b squared equals c squared where C has to be the hypotenuse. So if we think back to the unit circle, which is what I have drawn here, the circle with a radius of one, okay, remember that we have our Y coordinate is always going to be our sine because it's our opposite over the hypotenuse since the hypotenuse is one and we're dividing by one, it's just sine. The adjacent is cosine. So if I use this formula right here and plug it into the Pythagorean theorem, I end up with sine squared, and the way that we write that is just sine squared of our angle measure plus cosine squared of our angle measure is going to equal our hypotenuse squared, and one squared is just one. So this is the first trig identity, and that's where it comes from, is just using the Pythagorean theorem with the unit circle in reference to sine and cosine. So there are two other trig identities that do originate from this. The first one we can do by multiplying the entire equation by one over sine squared and using some of the reciprocal identities that we know and the quotient identities that we know. So I'm going to distribute, let me just write this out, um, one over sine squared into into the first Pythag Pythagorean trig identity that we came up with, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals one. So when I distribute this in, I'm multiplying everything by one over sine squared. So when I multiply sine squared theta by, and divide it by sine squared theta, I'm just left with one. Plus, I would then have cosine squared theta over sine squared theta equals one over sine squared theta. Okay, so now if we replace this with some other properties that we know, we know that cosine over sine, if we look at it, um, at our picture over here, cosine over a sine is adjacent over opposite, which is cotangent. So I can replace this with one plus cotangent squared theta equals one over sine squared theta. And remember that the reciprocal function for one over sine squared theta is cosecant squared theta. So this is another one of the trig identities that we work with, okay? Um, sometimes it'll be written as cotangent squared theta plus one equals cosecant squared theta, which is the same thing because it doesn't matter in which order I add them together. So the last Pythagorean trig identity that we talk about is instead of multiplying by one over sine squared theta, we're gonna take the original sine squared theta cosine squared theta, and we're gonna multiply it by one over cosine squared theta. So if I multiply the sine squared that we know is true, as long as I multiply everything by the same number, my equation stays balanced. So then I would just take and distribute this into my equation, which will give us the third Pythagorean trig identity that we use. Okay, so when I multiply this in sine squared theta over cosine squared theta, for the next one, when I multiply this, cosine squared theta divided by cosine squared theta is just one, and then we end up with the last part, which is one over cosine squared theta because I'm multiplying it by one. So all I did was distribute that into my equation. Now if I simplify, if we go back to our picture, remember that sine over cosine is the same thing as opposite over adjacent, which is tangent. So we could replace this with what it's equal to and say that this is tangent squared theta. The one doesn't need to be simplified and then the one over cosine squared theta gives us secant squared theta. So this will help you hopefully to see where we got all of the Pythagorean trig identities rather than just 
memorizing them, you can see how they were derived and where they came from. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well. Thanks for watching.